Okay, this is going to be four cards. Get your questions ready. You've got four choices to pick. It'll be yes, no, or maybe. I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Wow! Cool! Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So I'd say to you, don't waste this. Take some time and really bring to the front whatever it is, whatever the issue is or the issues are that you want to deal with in this drawing. So don't waste it. So there are going to be lots of choices that you could make. So consider what the issues are. Contemplate on them. Stop the tape if you need to. Put them out there in the universe. And somehow, I believe you're going to get some uh, knowledge from what we do next. Okay? But what we're really going to do next is look at the cards. So this Japaridze tarot is amazing. They're by Nino Japaridze. Now she's a Georgian artist. Georgia, not the United States, Georgia, Europe. Uh, uh, and um, so these are beautiful. Even the, the packaging is wonderful. It's shiny and glossy. It's a nice, you know, if you gave this as a gift, you'd feel like, wow, that was a really nice gift. The guidebook is so amazing. The text in this guidebook is by someone named Steve Lucas. And uh, his story is interesting, and it kind of goes over that in, in the guidebook, how he came to know her. And uh, he's a fellow a couple of years uh, younger than me, lives in New York, uh, an art uh, enthusiast and gallery owner. And he happened to meet uh, Nino, as a matter of fact, uh, on a uh, trip to Paris about 2008, I think it was, where they, uh, he, she was exhibiting her art, which I understand she's been doing for years, I mean, since she was a child. And um, and so they came to an agreement that she would do uh, some depictions of the major arcana about six months down the road. That was about finished. And he, he talked to her about doing the rest of the cards. That took about another year. So she's probably got two years into the, all of these are full size, whatever full size is for her paintings. And uh, I can imagine that anybody would love having uh, some of these uh, works of art uh, in their home framed. Um, and they certainly exist somewhere. So I like to, to um, Spread these cards out like this so that uh, if you don't look at cards very often, you can get a sense of what a whole pack looks like. And um, and the only difficulty with cards like these, this kind of surrealist art, is that you really need to know uh, what your divination of the uh, Rider Waite system is going to be. So they're beautiful cards, and I love using them. Okay, but before we start, why don't we just take a few seconds, just seconds, to contemplate and meditate. And that's all it takes. So, four cards. We'll lay them out. You'll make a choice, one, two, three, or four. And then uh, I'll tell you what the definition of those cards are, and hopefully that'll... Uh, help you with your questions. It'll be yes, no, or maybe. And uh, then we'll go on and do a dyadic cross, a full dyadic cross, which is six cards total, so five extra cards on each of those four to get a little deeper into uh, whatever issue you may have. Okay, so we're going to pull four cards. One, two, three, and four. It's always a surprise. I think the card is going to come out from one place and it comes out from someplace else. So one, two, three, and four. Take your time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Remember, you can stop this tape if you need to just take a second. I suggest you collect yourself. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Now we'll reveal them one at a time and talk about what they mean. This is card number one. So this is the two of gardens. Gardens are pinnacles. Pinnacles are value. 
uh, or can't even be money. And the reason they choose to associate pinnacles or coins with gardens is because gardens uh, are the, the, the where everything starts. It's the earth. It's the land. It's terra. And it's the ultimate value. So the two of gardens is finding a balance between those things that are important to you and keeping that balance, just like this uh, this juggler is doing right here. So two of gardens. This is a yes card. Let me jot it down so I remember what I've said. This is a yes card. Two of gardens. So that's a yes to your question. Um, if you chose number two, then that's um, this card right here. And this is the eight of fire. And fire is wands. And wands are action, are plans, motion, moving forward. So the eight of fire, the eight of wands, is uh, lots of actions uh, happening uh, almost simultaneously or in succession. So uh, this is a beautiful depiction for an eight of fire here in this volcano. So yeah, when this thing goes off, there's going to be lots of actions happening at the same time. And you'll have to decide, how am I going to deal with them? Can I deal with them one at a time? Do I need to run from all the actions? But this is a, um, this eight of fire for me today is a no card. Lots of issues. Number two, no. So yes and no. He chose number three. This is the ace of of winds. Winds are swords. And it's easy to remember that because if you think of a sword swooping by, then you almost hear that whoosh of the sword going by. And it's depicted uh, here, this ace of swords, by this uh, bat. Okay, So an ace of swords is a great big offer of and swords of truth, uh, justice, rules, law. And this is a great big offer of that. And this is going to be a yes card. So the ace of swords, truth, justice, rules, law, a big emphatic yes chose number four and we've got it right here in the six of gardens okay and just like we mentioned before gardens are pentacles or coins and the six of uh, coins is doling out that value in some sort of an equitable fashion and we can see here that this person is a bit surprised by being doled out a big bouquet of beautiful uh, uh, flowers and often if we're the recipient of that uh, value uh, we're glad to get it it feels like a big present sometimes so the six of gardens doling out the value and this is a yes card so yes Okay, so we end up with a yes, a no, a yes, and a yes. All right, and uh, we'll turn those over, and then we'll just get into a deep divination of this card, the signifier, this two of gardens. Okay, I'm going to take five cards. One, two, three, four, and five. Put these over here to work on that, and we'll see what challenge we have to this two of gardens, finding a balance in these values. The king of tides. So tides are water. Water is cups. Cups are emotion, a compassion, some deep felt uh, feeling. And the king of tides is the absolute ruler of all of that. So finding this balance is challenged by this overpowering uh, emotion. Okay, it's just all consuming compassion, which might, might want you make you tip one way or the other. So it's when there's a, a, a compassion filled issue on our plate, it's always going to make it more difficult for us to find some true balance in there. But the base of this reading is this nine of fire. So fire are uh, swords. Uh, I'm sorry, fire are wands. Our plans, our actions are moving forward. And this nine of fire, this nine of wands is just a huge. Uh, being embattled, okay, really something that's important. And uh, so we come into this issue with this this very embattled base here. So very tense filled, uh, big plan, big challenge, okay, to the balance and the uh, compassion or the emotion. The past of this reading with this king of winds, winds are swords, and the king of swords is absolutely in charge of those that truth, that justice, that rule, and that law. And we see that bat motif repeated in this uh, king's dress right here. So the king of swords is bringing us a great big um, uh, notice of this value, this truth, this justice, this law. What are those things is involved with your issue? Uh, in the sky of this reading, we have the four of gardens. And so the four of gardens is um, sometimes being offered, no, that's incorrect, four pentacles, four pentacles. I'm drawing a blank, so I'm going to look it up on my cheat sheet like I so often do. Four of Pentacles. Uh, oh, yeah. So the Four of Pentacles is wanting to find, to hold on to the value that you have. 
Okay, so this uh, fellow is a manipulator of this uh, marionette, and he's got to find just the perfect balance to keep the audience uh, you know, enthralled with the performance that he's commanding through his value. Okay, his value is his performance, and he's got to find a way to keep it, to keep everyone on the edge of that. So that's what's in the sky here. We want to keep up in the sky, keep everyone engaged uh, with our value. And then the likely outcome of this, if he chose that uh, that yes card, um, the number one card, is the Ace of Gardens, the Ace of Pentacles, and it's a great big offer of value. So that's beautiful. So we start out with the uh, Two of Gardens, trying to find a balance, but it's challenged by this great big emotional side to this issue, which was underpinned by a lot of turmoil, uh, almost overpowering embattlement, but not quite. And then with the King of Wands on the other side of this, or the King of Winds rather, which is uh, which is the King of Swords. So we've got compassion over here, and we've got rules on this side. And we're trying to keep those two things balanced. In the sky of this, with this Four of Pentacles, this Four of Gardens, is knowing that we have to hold on to our value. We have to hold on to the tension that we've, we've garnered with our value. And then the likely outcome of the whole thing is that we'll be rewarded with this Yes card with a great big offer of, of even more value. So now we'll go on to the next card that's up in this divination, the number two card. That's the one that you chose. Signifier is the Eight of Fire. That's our only no card in this uh, suite of cards today. The Eight of Fire. Fire. Have I mixed up my cards? I have, and I'm just not going to let them stay like that. I really don't uh, like to have uh, combined cards. And you may say, well, Mark, they were supposed to be that way. If they were supposed to be that way, then I wouldn't have seen um, that they were inverted and it wouldn't have sent me on this chase to correct them. So that's how I look at it. Everything happens exactly the way it's supposed to happen in our lives. I feel there's very little left chance, if anything. And uh, I put those cards in upside down, but it's made me go back through here and, and make a correction. It could be that I miss one, and that's the one card that needs to be inverted. Or it could be that I get them all just right, or it got me to mix these cards up a little bit, which may put something in the correct order that it needs to be. So this Eight of Fire, and the reason I don't like the inverted cards is because I'm not confident in my uh, interpretation of those cards. If I, in fact, get an inverted card after I've done everything I can to make sure I don't have them, then I know I have to do my best with that inverted card. Okay, so Eight of Fire, uh, lots of issues coming at us. Um, and let's see, and that's the No card. We're going to need five more cards out of here to finish this. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, the challenge to all of these issues coming at us at the same time is this four gardens again. I love when the cards repeat because it tells me they're playing the game with us, holding on to your value. When everything's assailing you at the same time, when the catastrophe is right on the edge, and you know <clears throat> that's what you really have to assert yourself and hold on to your value. The... Um, base of this reading is temperance and again it's finding that balance it's finding it but this is of the major arcana sometimes we have the two of pentacles which is telling us about balance but when we go to the major arcana it's even more than balance it's finding the exact warmth the heat the true and the not true of the situation the past of this reading look at that just what i was telling you about okay so the three of fire fire of wands Wands are plans. So the three of fire are long-term plans. Okay, so we want to know we're going to do this, we're going to do that, and we're going to do this other thing to get us to our goal. But this was inverted. Okay, so I'm going to say for this three of fire, they mean that no matter how well we've made this plan, it's not going to come to fruition the way that we thought it would. Okay, so this is the only no card that we had in this in this layout. So how amazing that I would pull that inverted card after I went through all that trouble to make sure they weren't inverted. Not going to come out exactly the way we thought it would. In the sky of this reading is the five of tides. Tides are cups, the water, and the five of cups is uh, worrying about what um, what we've lost, okay, and what we still and not fully appreciating what we still have. Very interesting card because we have this pregnant bride in the middle of all these coffins, okay? So worrying about what we've lost and not understanding 
what we still have. Okay. That's the overarching um, sentiment of this reading and of this no uh, answer. And then the final outcome for this is going to be the stranger of tides. So this is like the knight of cups. So cups are emotion. The knight of cups is going to get this thing recognized. He's going to get these passions out there. And it's something that we're just going to have to suffer through. So we started out with the eight of fire, a lot of issues coming down. Four of gardens, trying to hold on to our value. Temperance, finding that balance. Three of fire inverted. No matter what plans we make, it's not going to come out the way we expected. What we have to do is appreciate what we have left uh, as opposed to what we've lost. And then um, with this stranger ties in the end, this night of uh, emotion is going to come through. He's going to bring those deep felt passions with him. And probably we need that as sort of a, a nourishment. So that's why this one is a no. Okay. I'm going to put these back into the deck. Not inverted, hopefully. Okay. So number three is the card we're dealing with now. We chose number three. It's a yes card. This is an ace of swords. A great big offer of truth, justice, rules, law. One of those things. And you know what? I still saw another inverted card in here. We're just not going down that road. I'm sorry. Look at that. How is it that all these cards are inverted? No, we're not having it. Okay, we made a good pass through there. Hopefully we've taken care of that. We okay, have it, there's more. And some of you may be annoyed that I do this, but trust me, this is just part of the way I divide the cards. And uh, it has to be this way. I can't do it any other way. Uh, I don't uh, trust my divination for those inverted cards. And until the day comes when I can just take a whole pack of cards inverted and read them out confidently, then uh, that's uh, that's not going to happen. Okay, so the Ace of uh, Winds, Ace of Swords, great big offer of truth, justice, rules, and law. Okay? Truth, justice, rules, and law. I feel like I need to cut this deck also. And let's get five cards. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I think that's part of the problem there. Okay, remember, these are not part of the reading. So the Ace of Winds, the Ace of Swords, is a signifier for this reading. The challenge to that is the Seven of Gardens, Seven of Pentacles. Uh, the Seven of Pentacles is... The, is um, Oh, gosh, I'm going to use my cheat sheet for that. The Seven of Pentacles is, uh, oh, yeah. So is uh, wondering if we've done enough. Have we made this thing as fruitful as it possibly can be? This fellow is really pondering that question, as a matter of fact. He, it's, he's got a bounty all around him, but he still is thinking, what more could I have done, should I have done? Is this fine just the way it is? So this great big offer of truth, justice, rules, law is challenged by wondering, are things exactly the way they should be? Is there something more that should be or I could have? The base of this reading with this Queen of Gardens, so this Queen of Pentacles. So we started out with a very strong feeling of value, of worth. Look at this Queen. She's very confident, okay? Very, very striking. The past of this reading, then, with the Tower card, is that there was something that was a complete stop, okay? So we have to pick up from those ruins to, to continue on with something else that's new. And the sky of this reading is the Wheel of Fortune. And so the wheel is always turning around. There may be some difficulty somewhere in that wheel, but for the most part, it's a positive journey, that wheel of fortune. And that's what we're shooting for. And then the um, uh, final outcome for this is the star. And the star just reveals all that empowerment that we always had. And now we're in control of it. And we can use that star to our best uh, our best advantage. And so, so we start again with this yes card of the Ace of Swords. Okay, great big offer. Truth, Justice, Rule, Law, challenged by the Seven of Gardens. Have, have I done enough? Queen of Gardens said we came into this, just a very strong feeling of empowerment. It was the end of something here with this Tower card, which gave us the sampling of something that was new on this Wheel of Fortune, usually in a positive direction. And we end up with this Yes card with the star just really being uh, exactly the right thing we should do. Okay. That's number three. So this card, number four, that's what you chose, is a Six of Pentacles. And this is um, 
doling out the worth, making sure the people who need it get it. Gardens is pinnacles. Pinnacles is value. Can't even be money. Five cards to finish this divination. I want it from right there. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. The challenge to this yes card, this uh, distributing that value, is this jester of tides, tides or cups. And the jester is like the page. So the very least uh, and powerful of the court cards, but the jester gets someone's attention. He says, look, I've got this compassionate, this emotional situation. You may want to take a look at it. Um, even though everything's being doled out here, there's this little bit of compassion we might want to consider along with that value. And the base of this reading with this four of fire, fire or wands, these folks are dancing around the maypole. And the Four of Wands is a small-ish celebration towards something better and grander. So we came into this under under good uh, positive steam. Uh, the past of this with this Ten of Fire, this Ten of Wands was is a challenge. Okay, it was really a hard uh, burden, a big burden, almost seemed insurmountable. There can always be a surprise at the last minute. And then in the uh, sky of this reading with this Stranger of Gardens, this Knight of, of Pentacles is telling us that this knight is going to fight for the value that they believe is theirs. This uh, knight is not giving up. It will shape change to get this accomplished. The likely outcome of all of this is a stranger of fire, this knight of wands. And the knight of wands, again, is a great big movement and issue going to make it happen. Okay, so we came into it with six of gardens. Let's find a balance. Let's just distribute the worth where it should be. Challenged by this page of cups saying, hey, there's a little emotional uh, thing here that we can add to that you might want to consider. We were underpinned by this uh, smaller celebration towards the plans that uh, maybe that we had. And with the 10, a lot of uh, uh, wands in this, by the way, and then with the 10 of wands, even though it's a heavy load, uh, this uh, Knight of Pentacles is telling us, I'm going to fight for the value that's in there. And the stranger of fire, this Knight of fire is right along with this Knight of garden. So you've got value and you've got uh, action all on your side of this big yes answer. So that was a pretty good set of cards, I think. I hope you got something out of that. Well, what questions did you ask? Did you get some answers? Did you get some insight? I hope you did. And uh, if you didn't, maybe come back to it later. Take a look. Um, think of somebody that's important to you. Maybe that will be where the answer is. Or this may not be for you today, and that's fine. We got to spend some time together, and I like that. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.